What's up? It's Doug from Bigelow Motorsports. Hey, uh, got the new behemoth drivetrain Colossus 205 here. Uh, super excited uh, to unbox this for you guys here today. And even more importantly, excited to get it in the rig over here that we've been working on. Uh, gonna go through a little bit of unboxing here. First thing I noticed literally right out of the box is how it comes packaged. I've got a lot of different transfer cases over the years. Uh, most importantly, I love the fact that I can actually pick this thing up, kind of manhandle it around and get it in here into the shop. Uh, really like the fact of how it's boxed up right now. I think that's a definite selling point of, uh, you know, a little bit of, uh, you know, class, I think. Honestly, it's a pain in the butt trying to lug things around and, and get it into the shop and having some handles to grab one to. Uh, edges all squared away. Um, you know, the all thread, I think you can use a 15 millimeter socket to unscrew these. And we're going to go through it and take a look at the transfer case now. Pretty simple uh, piece of angle iron welded at the seams. Got your nice little uh, handles on each eye and uh, six all thread rods uh, screwed down into another side of angle iron. So pretty, uh, pretty ingenious, pretty smart uh, digging it so far. All right, got uh, handy dandy cutters here. Just opened it up just a hair. Uh, first thing out of the box. Uh, super cool, packaged well, foam inserts, couple of stickers that are in there. And then even more importantly, just, uh, you know, simple thank you. Thank you for your order with Behemoth Dry Train from Dylan. Uh, appreciate that. Really cool. And uh, we're going to dive into this thing a little bit more. Okay, first thing that I'm noticing, uh, really cool multi-layers of foam and the cutouts that are in there to make sure that the transfer case is protected. So not just a bunch of peanuts on the inside, uh, but actually foam uh, cut out the right way to make sure that your transfer case does not move, does not roll around and everything is good to go. Okay, got it down to the bottom here. Just lifted this bad boy out of here. Uh, first thing I will say, I've lifted Atlases. I've had full stock uh, 205s in the past, 241s, uh, you name it, Dana 300s. Although not the heaviest transfer case I've ever, definitely uh, uh, pretty light. Um, just looked it up, fully done, geared, uh, looking at uh, a little over 70 pounds for a transfer case, full billet case. Uh, case is actually bill or uh, uh, milled out of uh, a full block of 6061. So pretty cool stuff. Just noticed this uh, laser etched on the back of the transfer case, which is really, really cool. Um, obviously, you got your shifters up top here, front digs, all that cool stuff. I opted to go with the two to one, uh, 196 to one uh, ratio. Going to be uh, 1410s uh, here and uh, went with the upgraded outputs on both of them. Standard 32 spline uh, here on the input. As you can see, obviously a million and one different options as far as clocking that is in there. So you can get this thing nice and flat. We'll be able to get it uh, into the chassis, no problem, behind the Turbo 400. All right, just took a second and went through the second box that Behemoth sent me here. Obviously, this is all the shifter mechanism, which is really cool. Anodized, uh, Himes on, everything with nice uh, pieces of all thread. Got your shifter boots that are in there as well. Uh, one of the cool things that I did notice is these Himes and how they're set up and how they are filling in and fitting in to the shifter mechanisms that's here. Um, you know, really cool, well thought out pieces, uh, built really strong, hardware super nice. Uh, and then again, you know, anodized, uh, super cool. Uh, one of the things that I was, uh, you know, taking a look at and one of the things that we looked at was uh, options as far as gearing. I know a lot of guys, uh, opt-in these days to go with, um, you know, one-to-one -one transfer cases, uh, deeper gear transfer cases. Uh, this will actually accept 
uh, the JB Conversions 3 to 1 kit as well. So, you know, you're not stuck just with a 2 to 1, um, but also uh, can go 3 to 1 uh, if you need to for your application. Obviously, um, you know, tons of different inputs uh, that you can put this behind, and then even more importantly, tons of options as far as outputs, uh, yoke design, uh, and one of the coolest things that I have come across, uh, even more importantly, uh, no nine month wait to get this transfer case. Uh, production right now is just a couple of weeks out. Uh, when I talked to Jim the other day, they're looking at uh, four to six weeks uh, for a transfer case build out, spec to what you need, shipped in the cool box, uh, super padded to make sure that it is, uh, you know, arriving to you nice, safe, and sound, and your investment for your buggy is where it needs to be. So uh, looking forward to getting this into the buggy. Look forward to doing some testing here, even more importantly, and, uh, you know, give these guys a, a, a chance, give them a check out, and uh, even more importantly, uh, you know, support the guys that are supporting our sport right now. Look forward to talking to you guys soon.